sunflower, meaning youth and freedom. When I think of sunflower, I think of a place full of life and unbroken promises. I think of it as a place where people from different backgrounds are accepted with love and care. I grew up in Sunflower in the care of my grandmother. Anytime we come to Sunflower, we are welcome. My grandma knows everybody. It's not that she knows everybody, but that she wants to know everybody. And I think that's why she has such a big impact on people. I guess 35 years does that. My grandma has a lot of love for Sunflower and its people. What people say about her store, Roses Groceries, it brings a sense of community to Sunflower, a place where homeless are fed. I grew up there helping out, the whole family did. People from the Freedom Project come over all the time to buy sandwiches. They call her the ham and cheese lady. Me and my grandma have these bake days because she always says, I don't know how to cook. How you gonna get a husband? You don't like to clean and you don't like to cook. Then she'll say, go get your education. Don't worry about it, boy. What a typical bake day looks like. She has me running from the back of the house to the front of the house. Go get back inside the kitchen. She wants everything laid out. We bake some of everything. We bake oatmeal cookies, funfetti cakes, peanut butter cookies. She'll actually have a jar of peanut butter. Spread the peanut butter like so, put it on the sheet, get a fork and smash it down. Then you, that's the flour on top of the cookies. And I'll say, Grandma, that's old folks stuff. How much peanut butter did we put in there? A cup. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to train her and show her, you know, if you don't, if you miss something out of the peanut butter cookies, they won't taste right. So I let her know, make sure, a cup of brown sugar, a cup of white sugar, and that's life. If you miss something out of life, something gonna happen, it's not gonna be right. Just do it right. If she never taught me anything, she's taught me how to be consistent. Like be consistent in school, be consistent in the Freedom Project, be consistent in everything. And that's how my grandma is. She's right behind me the whole time. One cup of sugar, one cup of white, one cup of brown. I'm coming to a point where I'm becoming an adult. And she actually wants to hear my opinions. I guess that comes from seeing my commitment to the Freedom Project. After school, I come straight to the Freedom Project every single day. So from four to eight, that's how long I'm here. So when I get to college, I'm prepared to do anything and everything. And I'm not gonna stop after college. Now looking back, I think of the store as a vessel, a symbol of what a little love, attention and affection can do for people. Because when she showed care, true concern for people, it kind of made her unique. They found a place in Sunflower they couldn't find anywhere else in the world. Since you have closed your store two years ago, what kind of message would you send to the community members of Sunflower? The message of love. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. And we get those two, we on our way.